So my next privilege is to introduce Kate Chapman and Heather um, Lesson. They're of the OpenStreetMap Foundation. They're both directors. If you want to come up, because I'll have to point you out, because uh, we don't want to get you mixed up. So this is the wonderful Heather, and this is the wonderful Kate. They've got great keynote, and I'm excited to hear about now and the future and the community. Like you have a dance. <laughs> you, you promised me a dance now. No, I'm okay. Um, do you want that? Mm -hmm. And we can hit next on the keyboard. Yeah. Is that what Just down. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we joked with Gregory that we needed to be pointed out individually, so that was the beginning of our talk. But that's OK. Um, and I can't do a maps chant either, because that won't be original. Anyway, I dig digress. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you to Wikimedia Italia for hosting, as well as all the organizers. It's a real pleasure to be at another state of the map. It's been a while for me. It's been about four years. And I'm really excited to see some old friends. Um, so the first mapper I ever met is here today. and. I look forward to meeting new friends. Super excited that it's also on, on YouTube. And I hope that um, you know we're only 400, which I think is pretty impressive. But there's thousands and millions of people who contribute to OpenStreetMap. So just in mind, like, we're so massive. And it's exciting to be here with you. And I hope to meet many of you while we're here. Is there anyone who's here not to make a free map of the entire world? So I hope that means either you don't, I hope that means that everyone's here because we have the same vision. We want a free and open map of the entire world. The thing where, that happens and where we might have conflict is we don't always agree how to get there. But I hope we can have some common ground and understanding on this vision. So I want to talk a little bit about my OSM. I, um, I started mapping my neighborhood. Uh, I come from a GIS background, and I believe OpenStreetMap is somewhere where we can save the world, but also you know, be a little goofy at the same time. That's my OpenStreetMap. With all our individual my OSMs, we have our OSM. Be it that you're brought here from academia, from humanitarian work, you got into mapping because you needed better hiking maps. Whatever it is, we're here together. And from there, we make it our own. You know, I'm always impressed to look at the Map Cake wiki page, because this doesn't even cover all of it, because it keeps growing. We have another anniversary uh, coming up in August. I'm hoping more of you add to the Map Cake wiki page. Because, you know, be it you're into baking, you're into interesting cartographies, you came to build a map, uh, you like just studying the community itself, you find that's fascinating, we all make OpenStreetMap our own. We even have our own coloring book. How many other free and open projects can say that? I've been uh, wondering, does the map uh, cake test work as well of your data so open you can create a coloring book? So this is where Kate sings. It is not where I sing. <laughs> but um, this start, started as a early morning joke, the map solo. But I was a big classical music nerd in high school. I played the bassoon. Uh, this is a picture of part of a bassoon for those that aren't familiar. It's a long woodwind instrument. It's kind of one of the geekier parts of the orchestra. And I love Beethoven. And I was working and I was listening to Beethoven. And what I always loved about it, was playing the bassoon in orchestra, was you're, the, you're secondary. So you have the flute or the clarinet or the violin playing a melody, but then you have a counter melody that's really supporting it. And you might not notice it immediately, but you'll miss it. 
And I was thinking about how that relates to mapping. Let's say you are trying to get to a restaurant. That point of interest by itself is pretty useless. You can't figure out how to get there. You might not know where to park your bicycle. Any number of things would make that not a useful experience. So you need those secondary melodies to really pull the map together. No single mapper is an island, and that's why we're so great. Working together to help each other out, sometimes you're the solo, and sometimes you're the supporting act. Still no singing. <laughs> I have never me. sung in public in my life. Goals, goals. I was reading a blog post that Richard Fairhurst tw tweeted out yesterday. And something he said that stuck with me is that we have to meet people where they are. And his hypothesis was a technical solution that we need digital map tiles to help further meet people where they are. And there's many other ways we need to do that, be it different community approaches, um, different technology. How do we approach it? Interestingly enough, also, with this picture, I googled open dog map, which does not exist, Meow. but there is a reference to it on the German forum. So, What about the cat? I did not Google open cat map, though maybe we have more cat mappers than we have dog mappers. How do we reach out to those dog mappers? I have both, so. Then there's the other side of keeping it all running. Uh, I want to pause for a moment and thank our sysadmins and our operation working group who moved data centers over the past week. So moving from London to Amsterdam, no small feat. I believe Paul Norman suggested that we were getting four gigabytes per second in the move. Pretty impressive by VanNet. There's other things that involve keeping it all running, and sometimes it can feel a little thankless. Uh, the licensed working group coming along and helping us with GDPR compliance. The, these sorts of things can be a little bit unexpected, but we need to react to keep, the, to keep things running. All of those things are key to the OpenStreetMap community. Why? What are our motivations? Um, I'm sure for every individual person here, you may find a slightly different motivation. There's some themes that go very much together, but how you came to OpenStreetMap varies. I was mapping mosquito breeding habitats from aerial imagery when I was getting out of college. And when I quit that job, I swore I would never digitize anything ever, ever again. <laughs> How's that going? Well, fast forward six years, and I was spending most of my free time digitizing. Uh, my first edit in OpenStreetMap, if you go look, is actually of an island called Selden Island. It's in the middle of the Potomac River outside of Washington, DC. Going back to my mosquito digitizing, it was an island that had interesting uh, malaria activity on it that we had studied back before. And soon after that, I began mapping my neighborhood. There's many different ways beyond that you can come to OpenStreetMap. Uh, you could be recruited by me, um, as, as Heather was, or you can come from an academic background or any other numerous things. The important thing is we're all committed to that free world map. Participation. We can all participate in different ways as well. You know, because we need all those components, we all have to work together. You know, we're sharing a map. And coming to some level of consensus and agreement can be difficult at times. But really, I think that's our passion coming out. I didn't want you to have to hit enter for me, Kate. <laughs> so often we focus on the fact that we are open but we, our heavy focus is on the street and the map.
And so I want to ask a couple of questions around open. First and foremost, we belong to a larger, larger open ecosystem, whether it be open data, I know, open source, or open organizations. Those are our friends and allies. Sometimes we belong to those communities. I came to OpenStreetMap via those communities. I worked at a tech company where the LAMP stack was part of that work. And so I know that all of us work on different components of it, but are we open? And open is a hard concept in a lot of ways because it's asking some serious questions about how we interact with each other, how we work. And all of us kind of thrive in terms of that because we believe in OpenStreetMap. That's why we all are here on a hot day. I can share my fan later. Maybe we should do open fan map. <laughs> Just gonna make fun of Kate for a bit. But when we think about open, I like to think about what's happening in a larger open ecosystem. And I do that because I think there's a lot that we can give and share, but there's a lot that we can learn from the other open organizations. And so again, I'm not just calling us open source or open data, I'm thinking about other organizations that are trying to make open powerful. Whether it be open knowledge, who's thinking about open culture, or as Harry works for open corporates, like there's lots of different kinds of open. And so what are they doing well and how can we learn from that? So this book is free online. They have a stack of other ones there. If you go to opensource.com, they have a bunch of articles about community building and a lot of thought thinki thinking about it. So what is Linux doing? Some of you guys are probably part of LUGS. So what can we learn from them and how can we bring that to OpenStreetMap and what can they learn from us? So they have um, an ambassadors network of people who are community managers or leaders within the open network. And they did some analysis and they started to think about what was open across all open organizations. And they said, okay, there's kind of five components. And so I'm gonna break down those five components and then ask you some questions because I think each of you might have some different versions on how we're doing there. When I think about OpenStreetMap, I wanna say, yes, we're open. And that, that's a hard thing because I think in some ways we're open-ish, in some ways we can be more open. And so the um, thing I learned from Frederick, and I know he's here, is that you know he's super passionate, and we're on the board together, we're super passionate about OpenStreetMap and really fierce about making sure that we keep to our values and our principles and that people are ambassadors, all of us are ambassadors for OpenStreetMap. And he's absolutely right. We need to think about how we're representing OpenStreetMap in everything we do, which is, a hard ask because we're dynamic, we're, we're diverse in everything we do. So here's the five values. Are we transparent? <laughs> so everything's free online, you can find it. You can look at the data, you can look at our wiki, the board itself, our minutes are online, you can attend our board meetings if you're a member of OSMF. How can we be more transparent in what we do? Two, inclusivity. This is a hard one sometimes, and actually OpenStreetMap's not alone. Many organizations are having some really tough questions about how could they be more inclusive. And the exciting part is, as, as I said, there's people from 56 countries here, right? And then there's people around the world who aren't here, who are our allies. What's the average age of the world? They're in Asia and Africa. You know, how many 17-year-olds are in OpenStreetMap? That's my goal. I think that's what maybe some of us, maybe some of you are 17. If you are, come talk to me. I want to know why you're here and how we can help more. So inclusive, we have the diversity mailing list and those folks are working really hard in terms of how to make the map data more inclusive. When we think about adapt adaptabil adaptability, <laughs> I'm trying to be adaptive, but I always want to say adaptive technology or flexibility. So you're welcome. Always ask a friend. Um, so are we adaptable? And I don't mean just in terms of the health of our community or in the improvement of the data set. I mean in understanding how OpenStreetMap fits into the larger internet, into the larger technical communities, into other communities that we can learn from, like our friends at Wikimedia. <laughs> Funny. We collaborate, we're built on collaboration, OpenStreetMap is, but how might we collaborate more? Not just within our own little niche portions of it, but across that. And how can we be a bigger and better community? That comes down to communication. Now maps have always been storytelling devices. They've always been community centers, but 
you know, when I was at State of the Map Asia, I was super impressed about all the different stuff that was happening there that I got to learn from that community. And I felt really sad that I didn't know enough about that. And I think our story around how we can learn from different parts, parts of OpenStreetMap is the key to it. But that only comes with us negotiating a little bit better. There's lots of people who I may agree with or disagree with, but the whole point of that is to be kind. I think kindness comes better. And if, if we are feeling like we're super passionate about OpenStreetMap, passion's fine, but if passion's gonna mean rudeness, if it's gonna be dismissing somebody, that's maybe something that we need to work on. So how can we communicate just a little bit better? So I made some suggestions in terms of kind of the five things that I think op makes open. But your version of OpenStreetMap and how you unite and talk about that, what's your suggestion? What do you think you want from OpenStreetMap? Just, just not just now, but 10 years from now. So I said I'd like to see more 17-year-olds in the room, right? How do, we, how do we make sure that we're reaching that? Some of you run mapathons with young kids. I think that's exciting. I did it with 15-year-olds. One of the hardest things I've ever done. <laughs> Tension span. I'm like, oh, well, try it, truly. So what are your suggestions? Let's talk about that. But how can we make it even better? So we know we have the skeletons. We know we have the skeleton of what makes a good community. We know that that comes from each other's strengths. But those gaps between it, in terms of how we work and how we might work better, that's where we improve. I'd like to see OpenStreetMap exist in 10 years, whatever the technology is around it. And that's because each of you is making it what it could be in the future, too. So Heather's offering to forward the slides for me. Uh, so let's build more of a culture of gratitude. Um, other, you know, thank you to the attendees, thank you to the organizers. I also uh, want to thank Steve Coast. OpenStreetMap changed my life. Like, I wouldn't obviously be standing here without it, but there's many other things. <laughs> but building that culture of gratitude, it's really a two-way street. Uh, when you give thanks, it makes you feel good, and it makes that other person feel good. We were asking uh, a working group how we could better help them recently, and gratitude was on the list of three things. So let's keep that in mind. Let's please thank each other. If you want to go beyond thanking people, please support a working group. The working groups are what keep things running. Today, at 5.40, there's a special recruitment session. You can come, join, find out what the working groups do, what skills are needed, what tasks they need help with, and meet individuals from each of those working groups. I hope to see you there, because this is a crucial component of our OpenStreetMap infrastructure. Support your working group today. I'm going to invite you to talk to strangers while you're here for the next couple of days. I know uh, my inner introverts, that's going to be hard, but um, it's important to talk to people who may not do the same approach to OpenStreetMap because that's how we, we work. And when I said you're ambassadors, to me, you're ambassadors for this room and how we are online and how we interact on mailing lists or on the diaries or anything. We are all ambassadors for OpenStreetMap, so with respect, we do that. But you're also ambassadors for people who are not here. So when you go home and you go to your meetups, tell them what you learned. Introduce them to the people and the concepts of what, why, why this was a great event. Inshallah, it'll be a great event. But I mean, the idea that we are ambassadors for OpenStreetMap, that is, to me, the most important thing we can do in terms of growing OpenStreetMap. And so each of us might have a different perspective in a different way, and that's OK, as long as we're being kind to each other in that growth. As well, I'd ask you to think about, and our slides cut off for some reason, um, but we ask you to consider joining OpenStreetMap Foundation. OpenStreetMap Foundation and the working groups were here to try and keep the lights on, keep it working, but also your version of what you want OpenStreetMap to be in the future, how it represents us as a global community, what activities we do, certainly your input in that is important. We have a booth here that Dorothea is running with a number of board members. If you could all hold up your hands, the board members. It's me, Kate, Martin. Yep, perfect. So come and talk to us. 
we're very interested to hear what your suggestions are, and we're always interested to hear what you're working on. Talk to strangers. Once again, please join the OpenStreetMap Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean we don't care about your input if you are not a member, but I just think it's, it's a vital component. And if you compare the number of contributors versus the number of foundation members, it's very, quite skewed. So at least stop by and find out what it's all about. So I just want to echo Gregory's welcome in joining us in State of the Map 2018. I want to thank you all for uh, your wonderful individual con contributions and those we make as a collective. Thank you again to our hosts and organizers. It's wonderful to be here in Milan, and I hope to make lots of new friends. Old friends I haven't talked to yet, I'd also like to see you, so keep that in mind. And let's have a wonderful three days. And just finally, Again, because we're ambassadors, that means we will go home and we'll talk about OpenStreetMap and we'll talk about what we learned from each other. There's also State of Maps around the world, which I'm very excited about. I went to State of the Map Asia last year. Um, that's coming up in Bangalore. Uh, FOS4G is coming up in Dar es Salaam, so there'll be some of you there, perhaps. But the idea of connecting and connecting whether globally or online, I think is the best power. And I just want to thank all the contributors, however you contribute to OpenStreetMap, you are. OpenStreetMap. Thank you. Thanks, all. <laughs>